OK, in this lesson, we're going to look at evaluating expression, which uses substitution. Really, we're going to be told what the letters stand for, and then we have to substitute them in to get a value for um, the expression. So we're going to look at six examples here. And the most important line is this one at the top. It's telling you what A, B, and C are. So that is where we get all our information from. Now, notice that C is saying negative one and not positive. A lot of mistakes are made from reading errors, but that says negative one, so look out for negatives. Okay, so question one, work out or evaluate 5a. Now I look up here and I see that a is 3, and I know from my algebra that 5a means 5 times a, so it's 5 times 3, and it's 15, so that's your answer. Okay, moving on to, to 2. We've got 2a plus c. Now I know that this means 2 times a and then add on c. So 2 times a, what is a? a is 3, so it's 2 times 3. And I would put that in brackets. Any multiplication where you've got something else to do, try to put brackets in. And then you add on whatever c is. So I'm adding on negative 1. I'll put that bracket back in. Okay. So 2 times 3 is 6, and if I add negative 1, I get 5. There would be no harm in doing an extra line here, doing 6, uh, take away 1 if you wanted to. Okay, question 3. B squared take away A squared. So we talked about squaring in the last lesson. Squaring a number it means multiplying by itself, so this is going to be 4 times 4 take away and a is 3, so 3 times 3. So it's going to look like that. 4 times 4, take away 3 times 3. Notice the brackets are around the multiplication. So I'll do the brackets first, um, using my bodmass technique, brackets before anything else. So 4 times 4 is 16, and 3 times 3 is 9. So that comes to 16, take away 9, and that is 7. Okay, 2b squared. Now what that means is, it means two lots of b times b. It doesn't mean you do two times b and then square your answer. That would look like this with brackets around it. You'd have a bracket there and then a bracket there. That would be two times b and then square your answer because you do the brackets first. But this is really just two lots of b times b. Now b is 4. So I'm doing 2 times 4 times 4. It doesn't matter what way around you do this. You can do 2 times 4 first and get 8, and then do times 4, which is 32. Or you can do the 4 times 4 first and get 16 and double it. That's 32. This is exactly the same. It's 5 lots of c squared. So 5 times c times c. And up here we've got negative 1 for c. So it's 5 times negative 1 times negative 1. Again, it doesn't really matter which order you do this in. I am going to choose to do negative 1 times negative 1. Remember, if the signs are the same when you're multiplying integers, then it's always a positive answer. So that's going to come to 1 times 5, which is 5. You could have also done 5 times negative 1. You could have done that first and got negative 5 and times that by negative 1 and get plus 5. Okay, last one in this lesson. A bit more complicated. You've got three terms here to multiply. So 2, uh, to add together, sorry, multiply then add. So you get 2a squared. So that means 2 times a times a. Keeping it in brackets. I'm adding on three lots of b. So 3 times b. And then to that I'm adding on 30 times c. So I'm going to go back up and look, a was 3, and b was 4, and c is negative 1. So fill the, the numbers in. So 2 times 3 times 3, just take it slowly, 2 times 3 times 3, add on 3 times 4, add on 30 times negative 1. Now I'm going to work out these bits individually, do the brackets first before adding. So 2 times 3 is 6, times 3 is 18. That's going to come to 18, plus 3 times 4 is 12. 
and add on negative 30. This is just take away 30 really. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting. So 30 take away 30 is 0.